Good morning, YouTube. It's a beautiful day in Utah here, as you can see. And on beautiful days, I go fishing. I'm just gonna grab my bag that I'm gonna use for flow tubing today, and we're gonna get on the road, guys. These cool packs that I'm gonna be float tubing with from now on, they're literally brand new, even though they've been in my dusty truck. These are from Legend. You guys may have seen me talk about Legend Archery in the past. That's um, This is the company I have my awesome, awesome bow hunting case with. And so this is a waterproof bag. Now, for float tubing, you're literally kicking out there in the water. And so you need some type of waterproof bag to hook onto your tube and kick around with. And these are sweet because they're backpacks, but they can also be treated as duffel bags. I'm going to use this small size today, and then in the future we'll use this bigger one. This is the Arctic 75. This one I want to say is a 65. I'll let you guys know for sure. It actually comes in two different sizes also. I want to take a second to show you the bigger one, which I've been using for my flippers. This one is the Arctic 75. You'll see here I store my flippers in here. What's cool about this is I held six pairs of float tube flippers in this, which is awesome for really big trips. You get all your flippers in one place. You don't lose them all over your truck. Has a nice pocket out here. So awesome. Now these things are waterproof as you can throw them in the tube, throw them in the water. Your stuff, all your really important gear is not going to get wet. You can't fully submerge them, but you toss this in the water, it's not going to submerge anyway. So don't worry about that. Just so you guys know. Really good quality taping on the seams. Fully waterproof. I just love it. This one's really cool. It also has a duffel bag strap or backpack strap. I love it. What's up guys? Made it to the lake. Um, lots of roads have had really bad damage from this recent like crazy wind, hail, snowstorm that we recently had when this cold front moved in all of Utah. But anyway, um, a lot of these roads had down trees and I couldn't get around to them. Yes, I know I need to buy a chainsaw. No, a toe strap would not have worked. <laughs> I posted these things on Instagram and I got thousands of messages like that. I know I need a chainsaw. I'm definitely working on it. I just need to create a good system for it to stay in my truck and not bounce around because these roads are really, really rough. Anyway, um, someone has come up here and cleared the road with the chainsaw. So that makes me really happy. This is a potentially really good brook trout spot. So we're going to check it out. Hopefully catch some big brookies and our float tubes. Let's go. I don't know why chips are so good out on the water when you're float tubing. Do you guys agree? Chips everywhere in my truck for guiding. And I have leftovers. <laughs> We are all set. It's actually pretty warm, so I ended up putting a uh, short sleeve on that I luckily had in my truck. And then I have a sweater, warm jacket, rain jacket in the Legend waterproof bag, as well as my camera so they can stay in the back of my tube and not get wet. All the goodies. Let's go fishing. Beautiful day. Sunshine. Clouds off and on. I really can't complain. It's awesome. Hopefully we catch some fish. All right, check out this freaking beast of a female I just caught. Look at how obese she is. 
She's dull in color. Too bad for her size. She's not a male because she's so fat, but she's amazing. I'm so happy with her. So funny how bipolar the weather is in the mountains. I've gone from sweater to short sleeve to down jacket in like 10 minutes. So we'll see what the weather decides to do in the next 10. <laughs> Future Big Chunky. show you like the bag itself shows wet on the outside right let me unzip it so inside one of my totally dry corduroy jackets that i was going to use as backup if i just needed a light jacket we throw it in the truck and we hit the road what's up youtube i hope you guys are all doing well i'm actually on a hunt right now or getting ready for a hunt so i wanted to kind of fill you in and tell you my plans for YouTube. So I have a lot of hunting videos here coming up shortly. I have my Utah deer. Um, I have joining some other people's tags and their videos featuring their success. Now I have a tag out here in New Mexico. So lots of new videos coming out very, very shortly. I just wanted to say that I hope all of your hunts are going well this hunting season. If you're still fall fishing, I'm a little jealous. I've definitely been getting fishing in on my days off, but it's never enough. This is one of my favorite times of year for tigers and brook trout and all of the above. So I just wanted to say, I hope you guys are all doing well and we'll see you on the next video here very shortly. Stay safe and thank you so much for watching and subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Bye guys!